go to file new and from here i'll go to formula i'm going to create a very simple strategy right along with that i'm going to add on a very simple intraday module to that so i'll start with section begin and section end so you know right section begin and section end is how the uh, any code it starts with it is not a mandatory thing but it's a good coding practice to use section begin and section end i'll give a name here i'll say like simple intraday trading strategy it starts with section begin and it's going to end with the section end as well section end all right so let us say i am going to create a very simplified trend following strategy i'm going to use a uh, very simple down chain channel last week itself uh, we discussed about uh, the formation of a down chain channel i'm going to create the very simplified approach over here upper channel equal to higher high value of close comma 20 and lower equal to llv of close comma 20 Okay, I'm also going to give a one bar delay over here. Upper equal to reference of upper comma minus one, and lower equal to reference of lower comma minus one. I'm also going to plot the upper and lower, plot the upper channel. i'm also going to plot the candlesticks as well so i'm going to plot close i'm going to give a name called candle i'm going to say like color equal to color default and style equal to style candle so when i say style candle automatically it will recognize open high low close values here the i'm giving close alone you can see that the close is recognized as a dark black color So what does that means is like it is an internal internally recognized parameters all these are so uh, what now i will be getting here is like i'll be able to have an upper channel which is nothing but the higher high value of the last 20 bars and lower channel is nothing but the lower low value of the last 20 bars so this will plot the channels it will plot uh, this will calculate the channels calculate the upper and lower channels and then uh, here this will give one bar delay one bar delay to the uh, channels means only if the candle ends the value will get calculated so that is what a delay is all about so we use a ref function to give a one bar delay and uh, this will plot the channels plot the channels and this will plot the candlesticks plot the Candles. Okay, let me save it, and then I'll apply. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this under a folder. I'm going to create a folder over here, mini certification. This is going to be part two. Let's say like simple intraday trading system. Okay, so I had done up to this. Now I have to create a very simple strategy over here. The strategy what I am going to create here is when to buy, when to sell, when to short, when to cover is what I have to create. I want to say I want to create a trading logic to that. So what is the trading logic here? Buy equal to cross of high of the candle breaking above the upper channel an upper breakout and sell equal to cross of a lower channel breaking down on the low of the channel go the bar okay, and short equal to sell cover equal to buy and we also need to do an xrm we also need to do an xrm 
So I'm going to say like y equal to XRM of y comma cell. So we know that XRM is used for what? Removing excessive signals. Last week itself we seen that, right? Is for removing excessive signals. Removing excessive signals. And then we have uh, likewise cell also. We're going to remove XRM between multiple cell signals till the next buy signal arrive. We are going to use sort equal to sell and cover equal to buy so that it becomes a stop and reverse strategy. Stop and reverse strategy. Now we also need to define the entry price also. So we know that buy price is, I want to enter exactly when the upper channel is going to get broken out. So we use a value when function. If you remember last week, we use a value when function. Whenever the buy signal is getting formed, at that time, what is the channel value, upper channel value? That is going to be the entry price. Likewise, uh, we have a sell price also. Nothing but value when sell price is there. Whenever the sell signal is happening, by that time, exactly what is the lower channel? So here, we are not entering at the close of the candle, but touch of a level. So entry price. So this is going to be the entry price. Long entry price is long entry price. So long entry price is exactly the touch of the upper channel. Likewise, long exit still is nothing but what? Long exit, right? It is nothing but the long exit price is exactly at the touch of the lower channel. That means what? We are not waiting for the candle to close. So when the level touches, exactly the buy signal generates. Buy signal is nothing but what? The output of buy signal is always either true or false. But the true or false will be generated for each and every candle. Each and every bar, the buy signal will hold. Whether if the buy signal is true, whenever the buy upper breakout is happening, it will generate a signal here automatically. So likewise, I have a buy price, sell price, and uh, I also need to have a short price and cover price as well. I'm going to give a short price, nothing but value when short, when short signal is there, what is the lower price? And uh, cover price is nothing but value when cover comma upper. Remember, trading logic is very much used for automation. That is what we had. Uh, last week also we explained uh, the buy, sell, short, and cover is very much needed for automation. In fact, last week we discussed about automation as well. Whereas the buy price, sell price, it is mostly used for backtesting purpose only. Backtesting purpose, not only for the backtesting purpose, but also to and also to compute the compute the uh, stop loss and the target. Okay, so now we have a trading strategy here. So something I'm going to do something very interesting along with that. So this is nothing but about this is nothing but a simple Donchian channel. I'll do one thing: file save us. I'm going to keep it like simple intraday trading system. Let's keep this aside. Now I'm going to do something very interesting. So we have a strategy ready. When I say strategy ready, we have buy, sell, short, and cover. But if I try to plot it, what I will get? If I try to apply it. Probably I will not get anything. I will not get any signals. I will not get anything. I will not have any controls. I don't even see anything over here. Just simply the upper channel and lower channel is what I will be seeing over here. Right? So is there anything that we will be seeing here? Nothing, right? Except the upper channel and lower channel, we are not seeing anything. If I right click and go to the parameters, I don't have any control parameters at all. So what are the things that we need to build? We need to control the parameters. We need to create an intraday control. When to enter, at what time to enter, what time we have to exit, when to, when to square up the positions. So time-based control we have to add over here. So not only a time-based control, but also maybe I have to add an, uh, a dashboard also. A dashboard which tracks, and I need signals. The signals by up arrow, sell by arrow, sell arrow, all those things I need. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type a simple 
intraday controls like ami broker module or that's what i'm going to google module so it's kind of an add on code where you just add the code alone so this is a additional code you have to simply copy it okay i'm just going to simply copy the code this is a code it's an intraday module can be added to any strategy which has buy sell short and cover that is what i'm going to do i'm going to open a new code i'll save this as a separate file file save us okay i'll go and save inside the mini certification course part 2 i want to say like uh, intraday trading module now why it is so important here it is so important because if i do a drag and drop from here i'll go to the mini certification i put go to part 2 so i have a intraday trading module i'm going to just drag and drop to that see that what i'm getting over here i'm also going to do some one more thing over here i'll go to right click go to 5 15 five minutes over here that's what i'm going to do here so right now i'm using in 5 minute time frame all right and let me also show you here i can right click i can go to parameters now you'll be seeing multiple controls one thing is like you'll be seeing in uh, alert controls you'll be having an arrow alert so by default arrow alert is enabled if you want you can enable an uh, label alerts also like short signal happened short exit long entry long exit so those kind of indication also it happens over here it also comes with an voice alert as well. voice alert sound alert or if in case if you want mail alert pop up alert even you can send the telegram alerts if you are having a telegram channel you can enter the tel telegram bot id you can enter the channel id and uh, you can send even alerts to your telegram also just by what just by doing a drag and drop you can very quickly configure all those alerts not only that you can also limit the number of signals so here i, I want to limit the number of signals as only two instead if i want to put it like something like three i can i can take three signals or if i want only one signal in a day one any only one entry one exit you can control you can see that one entry one short entry one short exit or if i want to go up to two i can say like one more additional signals would have been added over here. the last time one of the user was asking about how i can limit the number of trades per day so here is the control which will limit you the number of trades per day and you can also set the start time and end time if i set the start time and end time automatically what will happen only within this time only the entry will happen entry will not happen before 9:30 and the entry will not happen after 3 uh, o'clock and no matter what are the open positions are there 15 15 it will close all the open positions and not only that you can also enable the targets you can if in case you want to plot the targets by default the targets are enabled and you can also set the target in some in terms of points in terms of percentage in terms of volatility so let's say here i'm using a 50 point target and uh, i mean 50 point stop loss and 100 point target maybe i can increase the target in, instead i can say like instead maybe 150 points of target i can increase the range of the target i can increase right so you can see that the automatically if the stop loss it it plots an uh, red line the red line is the stop loss the dotted red lines that you are seeing over here they are nothing but the uh, stop loss levels the moment stop loss is getting touched automatically the orders will go away so it, there is also a dashboard you can see that the dashboard tracks whether the strategy is in short or not if it is no uh, trade it will say like a simple trading system uh, no trading is going on uh, so relax no profitability pnl is zero the moment signals came in it start tracking the trades it start tracking the profitability price goes in it the, the profitability is in positive in your favor or if price started going against you the profitability will turn negative over here and not only that on the long side also so when the buy signal happens it shows that it's a long entry buy signal happened at so and so price and the moment target hits the trade becomes an exit when the trade becomes an exit it becomes a 
no profit, no trade. So it goes to the relaxed mode again. So if as long as there are no trades are running in, it, it will be remain in a no trade zone. So this is one important thing here. Right? Apart from that, apart from the dashboard, you can also control the name of the strategy as well. I can give a strategy name saying like a, a simple Donchian trading system. I can I can simply give a name to that. All right, you can see the, the dashboard name, the strategy name, I can control it from here. 